my god, I look like the fat kid. <laughs> So welcome to the live tour tour yeah. coming forward with Fat Joey. She's <laughs> <laughs> in the hood. <laughs> we're kicking it here and uh, we're going to be discussing some pressing issues of faith. Um, first on our agenda, Joey is a, is a man of faith. How do you maintain your faith when you see so many bad implants happening to good people? I, I just saw the title of that post. I don't know. I you know it's it's sometimes it's tragic to walk around the city and see perfectly well-intentioned people who are trying to do right by us so we could enjoy yeah you know the the pleasures of seeing them enhanced and yeah I don't know. It's the kind of thing that makes you wonder: Is there a God? If there is a God, is he is he is all it, powerful? It, it, does he truly care about does us? Does he care about us? That's the one that hits me. Is is if he really cared about us? What you know? How could he let this happen? Um, it's really been a challenge to my faith. I know, and uh, like uh, like perfectly perfectly respectable B cup breasts now have to get like inflated, like you know, yeah, you know, no dimensions. And I I I know seem to know a spate of women who've gotten implants recently. Women who are really perfect in their in their mm -hmm. in their the form in which Hashem mm -hmm. put them on this earth. But I guess I think living in the city has a pernicious influence on women's sense of self because you know they they, they felt the need to to implant. Hmm. Hmm. Are you, are you seriously? You're more of a natural or an implanted kind of guy in your preferences. I'll be perfectly honest. I, I don't have a strong. Preference. I don't either. I mean, yeah. I've seen perfectly great implants. And yeah, yeah. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't throw the woman out of shore. But. Well, there's another thing to it, which is that the implants, in my experience, are, are, are the, the breasts are firmer, mm -hmm. and um, I kind of dig. I mean, that's, that's yeah, a, yeah, a positive some, thing. Yeah, yeah, they don't get all droopy. They don't, they're not. Yeah, um, they get older. So, I'm sure I'm certainly not one of those guys who has like a strong Strong version to implants. Dogmatic position. Right. Like it's not one of your yeah, right. thirteen essential principles of the Jewish faith. No, the Jewish no, Kurtzman. no. <laughs> So you were, you were recently on a spiritual journey to India. You were there right. for, for three months. What was it like? It was uh, it was pretty intense. Uh, you know, the timing was a little. I had just uh, my wife and I had just agreed to get divorced, and so I met one guy who was like India. He's like, you just got divorced. You should be going to Brazil. Right. And he, you know, <laughs> he probably had a point, but but um. It was pretty intense. It was it was Avodah Zarah, pretty much nonstop, beginning to end. I have yeah. to admit, I went to uh, actually started with a group of Catholics in India and did some of the most the worst Avodah. I went to like a Catholic compound in the jungle outside Mumbai and spent a week there doing some of the most uh, outrageous Avodah Zarah a young Jew has ever done. What have you? What did you do? I did everything. I did everything that the the the, the was part of their program. Did you we, take mass? Uh, we we I didn't get the wafer. You didn't get the wafer because I didn't because I didn't deserve it. But but That's um, true. but uh, I did um, but I did attend uh, mass. I did co a kind of a confession, even though I wasn't mm -hmm. I didn't deserve a real confession either. But mm -hmm. I still they gave me a kind of a confession. That must I have taken a songs. lot of their time. What? That must have taken a lot of time getting <laughs> yeah, yeah, catalog yeah. of your run going. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot to, lot to, a lot to get off my chest. But th there was um, also uh, the songs, and the songs were like b begging Jesus to bathe us in His blood and stuff like that. And I'd never. I have a lot of. I've had a, for for a, for a young Jew boy from LA. I've got pretty good experience of different religious traditions, but I'd never. I'd never, all the time I lived in Ireland, everything, I'd never had seen this kind of hardcore kind of, hmm. it was pretty, oh, and begging strangers, you get on your knees and beg strangers for forgiveness. Anyway, besides that, I also did 24 days of silent meditation. And <laughs> I could see you totally changed. Yeah. <laughs> you transformed, you're like, <laughs> that's no. this angelic glow. Yeah. No, it was, it was, um, uh, it was, uh, it was pretty intense and uh, probably the wrong time to do it because I spent the whole time thinking. Evil thoughts about my ex-wife, which she didn't deserve. But um, but uh, <laughs> um, you know, uh, and then I yeah, then I you know went to a mountain in the south where they worship fire. India is a good. 
a good place if you're if you're. You want to worship to, idols. If you want to worship idols, India is about as good as it gets. So. It's like Shangri-La. Yeah. Now, would you like a diet Coke or a diet Seven Up? The diet Seven Up has antioxidants. Really, diet yeah. Seven Up has antioxidants. Yeah, this one is cherry flavored. To, oh well, yeah, okay. Just for health reasons, I'll have the diet seven. Okay, the diet, diet seven, seven up, up, and yeah. you just carry on there. Yeah, you entertain the audience. So, so yeah, that was my. Uh, let's see, are you guys ta talking? No one's in there yet. Yeah. Oh, so uh, there, I, I did get an offer that. Oh, one of the interesting things that, uh, with the Catholics in in um, India was that they were very philo-Semitic. They hmm. reminded me of really? the, yeah. They reminded me of the evangelicals I've met all over the place. But I haven't gotten that from Catholics so much. Very philo Semitic. You know, I remember sitting there listening to one of these preachers talk about his visit to Israel and how the people, how it's so magical and the people are so wonderful, and uh, you know the Arabs are rotten. And it was, wow. it was surreal. It's sitting there in, in, like I said, this, this compound in the jungle outside Mumbai. Listening to this kind of, I, I could have been getting this at you know at your Beth Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was pretty, pretty, pretty disorienting. Um, so yeah, I'll you were there for three months. How long were you there? In India, I was there for three months. Yeah, I spent one month just on the Arabian Sea in a hut on the beach. Was that the silence? No, that was not the silence. The silence was in this Buddhist, um, this kind of on this Buddhist, like a monastery on top of this. Yeah. So you like had a taste of Buddhism, Catholicism, and I assume some Hinduism. The Hinduism at the Hindu? end, yeah. Any yeah, other, yeah. any other religion? Uh, Islam, Buddhism, or? Catholicism, Hinduism. Um, no, and uh, and, uh, and 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 vegging out on the on the Arabian Sea for a month. That was it. Were you surrounded by scantily clad bathing beauties? No, not at that time of year. Um, what time of year? Was I it? did make friends with a lovely, but with a Finnish woman who was there, literally just friends, um, spent some time with, with her, but there she was, there were very few, um, no, it was, there were, there were, especially the place, I wanted a secluded place when I was going to spend on the beach, so I went to, outside a village where it said that there was, I basically had two kilometers of the beach to myself. Oh. Um, yeah, and there was not a lot of people except for some of the locals. It's always great to be alone when you're miserable. Yeah, I know, I know. What is up with that? Like, that's what that's what people were. I mean, saying it's like comical, but I alone, and then as if alone's not enough, I have to spend twenty four days then just in the silence of my own mind, thinking malicious and self pitying thoughts. And but but you you do get to see those malicious and self pitying thoughts kind of from a distance. So you realize it's ridiculous as they're happening, right, right. and you know that it's not really about them; it's about you. Right. But you, you just watch it go. It just goes and goes and goes. It's interesting. Meditation is very interesting. So, how have you changed? Go ahead and open your indulge. Yeah, yeah, Let me move you. the holy Torah so yeah. it doesn't get thank you. covered in cherry flavored yeah. diet seven up with antioxidants. Does it really say yet that there's antioxidants? Yeah, antioxidants. No See? Antioxidants. I thought you were joking. No, what I kid you? Oh my god. To reverse the aging process. Wonderful. Yeah. I, I can see it already starting yeah. to work. Uh, I, I, no, oh, I'm sorry, go on. I, I'm just curious about this trip, so did it change you in any way? No, I, I, I've, I mean, I've traveled a lot in my life, and I, I don't think traveling really changes you. <laughs> I, I, I think traveling is, you know, a kind of a, an escape of sorts. You could have gone to jail for three months and probably had a similar experience, like 24 days yeah, in solitary. Well, 24 days, yeah, well, but this was a little different. It was a holier atmosphere. You right. are sitting on top of a hill and there's lots right. of holy people around. Right. And, you're, and you're eating only two meals a day. And <laughs> yeah, I can see. Yeah, yeah, there. All, all this see. has been since I came back. I can see that really. I gained 50 pounds since the last time I was on this show. <laughs> this is the fattest phase I've ever had in my life. And it'll be... <laughs> It'll be a, That's what happens when you do nothing but study Torah 24 7. Yeah, since I came back, it's been all Torah to all the time. And <laughs> yeah, no, no more time for aerobic exercise. Torah and peanut M&M's only. It's the only, but yeah. So. But, um, so, why did you go to Israel instead of Israel? Uh, why did you go to India instead of Israel? Well, 
Um, because <laughs> India is where the Jews go. Yeah, right. That's right. There's a lot of truth. At least, at least the Israelis. For a 